Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to import a project from Fusion 360 into Easel so you can carve it with your Inventables XCarve or carving machine. I am using a Mac computer, but the steps should be similar for Windows users. To get started, open a new project in Easel. Click on the Import menu and select G Code. You'll see there are a lot of post processors available for Easel. The option we're going to use is Autodesk Fusion 360 since that is the program we use to design our project. Select this option and click the link to download the Easel Post Processor. Make sure you know where the file downloads because you will need to locate the post processor later. My browser downloads to my desktop, but yours may save in the downloads folder on your computer. Once you know where the post processor is located, head back to Fusion 360. Notice that I have already generated the necessary toolpaths. If you have not generated the toolpaths for your project, you can do this by using the settings up at the top of the screen from the CAM menu. There are some useful tutorials on the Inventables website from Patrick Rainsbury. The links are included in this video's description. Now that I have my toolpaths, go to the top of the Fusion 360 menu and select Preferences. Navigate to the CAM settings under the General tab. Click the checkbox to enable cloud libraries, hit Apply, and then OK. Next, we are going to navigate to the online portal of Fusion 360. I found the fastest way to do this is click on the Fusion 360 file menu and select Open Details from Web. This will log me into my online Fusion portal right away and allow me to view my file online. At the top of the screen, you'll find the breadcrumbs that lead to the main home menu. Click Home. If you enabled cloud libraries for the first time, it may take a few minutes for the Assets folder to appear. Try waiting two or three minutes, refresh your browser, and when it's ready, click into it. You'll find a few folders here. The one we want is called CAM Posts. Add your Easel Post Processor file to this CAM Posts folder by dropping it in. or use the Upload menu. Once the post processor file saves into the CAM post folder, navigate back to your Fusion 360 project in the Desktop app. At the top of the CAM menu, you'll find the Actions panel. Select Post Process. Under Source, select My Cloud Posts. This will pull from the CAM Post folder in the Asset Cloud folder. Select the Easel Post Processor. If you'd like, you can change some additional property settings, but we don't recommend doing that unless you know what you are changing. Click OK. Now it's time to save. Make sure you know where you are saving your file on your computer. Name your file and then click Save. Let's head back to Easel. Open up the G-Code menu again from the Import tab at the top and choose the file from your computer that you want to upload. Once it uploads, you'll get a preview of what your machine toolpaths look like. Remember, you cannot change any feed, speed, or cut settings to an imported G-Code file. It's important that you set all these parameters from inside Fusion 360 when you are generating your toolpaths. You cannot edit a G-Code file once it is imported into Easel. When you're ready to carve, click the Carve button at the top of the page. There are a few steps Easel will walk you through before your machine starts carving. Thanks for watching, and happy carving!